the idea of germ-infested leftovers just make your mouth water? How about a nice glass of warm, spoiled milk? Mmm. Perhaps the thought of some eggs swimming in microbes. Sounds appetizing, doesn't it? Of course not. The use of a cooling mechanism dates back to the age of cavemen and has been established as crucial to the preservation of our perishable food items and ultimately our health. In this speech, I wish to report on how one of the most essential modern day appliances, the refrigerator, came into, ex came into existence, how it came to be a household staple item, and how it has improved the way in which we maintain and enjoy our food products. In particular, I will focus on the history of this invention as well as those credited with its manifestation and emergence. Let's first start by discussing who invented this device and its early history. According to an article authored by Rachel Voss entitled, Who Invented the Refrigerator? Posted on Live Science's website on February 8th, 2017. The idea of a mechanical cooling device first materialized when a Scottish doctor by the name of William, William Cullen noticed that evaporation could double as a means of cooling in the 1720s. He displayed his findings to the public by evaporating ethyl ether in a vacuum in 1748. Following his demonstration, scientists and inventors from around the world began developing their own refrigeration devices, one of those individuals being Jacob Perkins, an American inventor who was given a patent for a vapor compression cycle that utilized liquid ammonia in the 1800s and is therefore widely recognized as the father of the refrigerator. Based off Perkins' design, countless people continued to build and improve upon the refrigerator's early model, including John Gorey, a doctor whose design was created in order to help cool down patients in Florida that were infected with yellow fever, and even the world-renowned Albert Einstein, who wanted to create an environmentally conscious refrigerator that didn't have to rely on electricity. Now that we've discussed this appliance in its infancy, let's examine how it began to gain popularity. Wright State University Libraries posted an article that stated, Fred W. Wolf, a pioneer of the Guardian Refrigerator Company, is credited as being as the inventor of the first electric refrigerator in the United States. This caused commercial refrigeration popularity to grow close to the close of the 19th century, when the first refrigerator was installed in a Brooklyn, New York brewery in 1870. Soon after, breweries nationwide followed suit and most all had the appliance. History Magazine states that the meatpacking industry wasn't too far behind, with the first refrigerator being introduced in the Chicago area circa 1900. W.C. Durant, a former the former president excuse me, of General Motors, purchased Wolf's company and rebranded it under the name Frigidaire. This product was mass produced and was present in nearly every American home by 1925. Today, nearly all homes, roughly 99% in America, have at least one refrigerator in their household. In conclusion, the refrigerator has established itself as an essential household appliance for the sake of both our health and, our, and the way in which we enjoy our perishable food items. Hopefully, through the information I presented to you during this speech, you now have a more comprehensive understanding of how the refrigerator came to be, as well as the individuals that played a part in helping it grow into what we know it as today. Maybe the next time you open up your fridge and reach for an ice cold soda, you'll say a quick thanks to the masterminds that made that possible. Thank you.